Hi guys, welcome to Edureka. As a part of our RPA course using UiPath, today we will look at how you can install UiPath on your system. But before we begin, if you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing as we upload new videos on leading technologies every day. Also, hit the like button and if you are looking to get in-depth knowledge about the RPA or robotic process automation, check out the links in the description below. So, Let's define our agenda for today. We will talk briefly about what is UiPath, followed by the hardware requirements and then the software requirement for installing this tool. And at the end of it all, we will install the UiPath on our system as well. We will also do some projects in UiPath which will also be available on our channel. Let's begin. So, what is UiPath? Well, UiPath is an automation platform for end-to-end high-scale automation. UiPath software offers solutions for enterprises to automate repetitive office tasks for rapid business transformation, which is one of the reasons why it is so widely used all over the world by big enterprises and organizations. UiPath streamlines processes, making the digital transformation fast and cost-effective. Now, let's look at the hardware requirements for operating UiPath. We will look at the minimum requirements as well as the recommended requirements for this. Let's start by looking at the requirements for CPU. For the CPU, the minimum requirement is to have two cores of 1.8 GHz processors with 32-bit architecture. The recommendation, however, is to have four cores of 2.4 GHz processors with 64-bit architecture. For the RAM, you should have a minimum of 4 GB memory, although 8 GB is quite recommended. In general, you would need about 3.5 GB of drive space for installing and using UiPath. But as you keep on adding packages and updates, it can go up to 10 GB, which is the recommended drive space for UiPath. Now, let's move on to the software requirements part. UiPath requires Windows operating system. Since it is so heavily integrated with the Microsoft operating system, if you wish to install it on your Linux or Mac system, you would need to have dual boot your PC or you will need to install a virtual machine in which you will be installing Windows and then installing the UiPath. UiPath also needs .NET framework to be installed. Preferably, it needs the version 4.6.1 or above. For the integration, UiPath also needs Microsoft Office to automate file manipulations operations. To automate the browsers, UiPath offers support for leading web browsers like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. Using extensions, UiPath can control these browsers and automate processes. With all of that done, Let's proceed to installing UiPath on our system. So first, go to your browser and type in uipath.com. This will take you to the official website. Now, hit this button which says, Try UiPath free. Now, to get started, you will need an account. You can sign up using your emails which you have on Google or Microsoft account or you can use your alternate emails. I'll be using my Google account for this. So I'll use this option to sign in. Now, if this is your first time, you will need to create your organization. As you can see, I have created a number of organizations here, but you can do this as well by clicking this button. For now, I'll just be using the Edureka organization. And now that you have logged in, you will land on this page. So. As you can see here, it says download UiPath Studio. This is the tool that is meant to be installed on our system. And this is the tool where you can design your projects and automations. So if you click on this button, it will start downloading the setup. Since I have already downloaded this, I'll go ahead and install using the setup. So in my download folder, as you can see, I have the UiPath Studio Community Edition. So I'll install directly from this. So here, I'll be using the quick setting and I'll accept the terms and agreements and then hit install.
and just like that UiPath Studio has now been installed. You can launch UiPath Studio by clicking here or you can go to your search bar and you should see a result named UiPath Studio. So sign into your account to get started and in our next session we will look at how you can create cool projects and automate stuff for whatever requirements you may have. And now the UI path is up and running. You can begin learning about the UI path by watching our other videos so that you can create some other cool and exciting projects. Thanks for watching. If you have specific project ideas you need videos on, feel free to drop a comment and we will try our best to build projects and videos on them. And with that, thanks and see you in the next video. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!